Here's a box of vintage glass ornaments from one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's a wonderful life. And it's only... Hello, everyone. It's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. a couple of days before Christmas and I am at the Goodwill on Rainbow and Ulta here in Las Vegas but I have a special treat for you today we're not alone my son Jake is with us Jay why did you want to come with us today well because I love thrifting and I want I want to save stuff from getting thrown away <laughs> Sweet. what are you gonna look for I'm going to look for stuff that I can buy and sell. All right. Shall we go inside and see what we can find? Yeah. What are we going to do? Let's, let's go, go thrifting. thrifting. Okay. Let's go inside and see what they have. We'll see you in there. Today is a really exciting day. Not only do I go, get to go thrifting with Jake this morning, but this afternoon I have some very special guests coming into town and uh, we are going thrifting together. I'm sure you know them, but you will have to wait and see and I will give you a sneaky peek at the end of this video and uh, our thrifting trip with them will appear in the next video. I'm really excited to meet them. Uh, but now, without further ado, let's go inside and see what we can find. Right, Jake, let's get a cart, shall we? Here we go. Can you do it? Are they stuck? All right, let's try a different one. There we go, perfectness. Should we have a look at the Christmas bits first, see what they have? If you watch my channel, you'll know that I buy and sell seasonal items throughout the year. And although two days before Christmas might not be the best time to shop, I'm still going to have a good look because you just never know what you're going to find. A couple of years ago, right before Christmas, I found a SpongeBob inflatable yard ornament for just a few dollars, and that ended up selling for upwards of $200 on eBay. As I mentioned, I'm really excited because I have some friends and fellow YouTubers coming into town to thrift with me this afternoon, but that's not the only reason I'm excited. I have a secret and I'm going to give you a sneaky clue at the end of the video to let you know what it might be. This is a Holland mold piece, I believe. Knitting it's Mrs. Claus, not quite finished, so we will leave her. Lots of candle holders, picture frames, odds and ends left here on the shelf. This is a cabbage leaf frosted dish for $5. That's just about retail value. Here's a lone green glass. A little Christmas angel and back here is this little milk uh, churn that's been here for quite some time. It's a bulb forcer, some charger plates. Oh this ornament is lovely. Let's have a look at this. It seems to be a kit and unfortunately the uh, assembly pieces are not in there. It's very very pretty when complete. Here is a half of a glass Christmas tree canister. That's really a shame because as you know I absolutely love those. 
checking the shelves, make sure I don't miss anything. It's a sweet little bear candle holder. Glasses and candles. Snow globes. Here is a rubber face. Mrs. Claus, somebody's project there. We'll move around the corner. This aisle is also Christmas. Got some baggies here. Always check the baggies. You just never know what you're going to find and just one ornament in a baggie can make it worthwhile. Here are a couple of little glass dove taper candle holders. Not very good quality those, so we will leave them. Here is a lovely dish, but unfortunately this lovely lady's hands are missing which is rather a shame. Oh, look at this angel. This is a Tuscany crystal angel. She's really solid and heavy. $12.99. I actually have the smaller one in this set already. So even though she uh, is priced quite high, I might pick her up anyway. Mugs and glasses. What's that? It's a paint your own ceramic train. Down here we have a lovely collection of Bing and Grandol vintage plates. The blue and white annual editions. But unfortunately, as lovely as they are, they just don't sell on eBay. Under here is something interesting. I see a duck. Ooh, these are lovely vintage napkins. Look at the detail on these, and it looks like they're all different. So for $3, we will absolutely pop these into the cart. We'll keep going here. Got more platters. It's a teeny tiny little shoe here. Lots of clear glass at the back. This is a mold piece I believe two dollars somebody's project do like the design of that and here we have an Avon piece I believe this is a candle holder let's have a look here Avon winter wonderland I think I'm going to look this up on eBay. Let's just scan the top shelf quickly up here. Make sure we're not missing anything. All sorts of mugs. Oh goodness, here are two vintage Libby tree canisters. I just can't, I just can't buy any more of those. Those are going to stay on the shelf. Little precious moments ornament. That's five dollars. That's just about retail. Bowls and platters. Serving dishes. These look a little bit like Spode, but the Christmas tree has a star and not a Santa. 
spode pieces always have a Santa on top of the tree. Lots and lots of tins. If you're a cookie baker, baker Goodwill is an excellent place to come and get tins uh, to give away your cookies as Christmas gifts. I've opened up the eBay mobile app on my phone and typed in Avon Winter Wonderland. At first glance, it seems that this series might be quite profitable. So let's have a look at sold items. I'm going to tap filter, scroll down to sold items. I'll click off and the green amounts will show me what the adjacent items actually sold for. Let's scroll through and see if we can find this exact item that's on the shelf here. It definitely seems that the Winter Wonderland series is one to look out for, especially the singing bears. There's a candle holder like this one, $10. Let's see if there's any more here. One more at $5 plus shipping. So I've refined the search to include candle because that's what this is. And uh, I'll check sold items. It looks like two have sold around $15 including shipping. Let's have a look in the box to see if all the pieces are here. Just out of interest. The trees are there. Oh, it looks like the little house is broken, unfortunately. So that saves me the quandary of wondering whether or not I should buy it. Let's pop it back into the box. Hey Jake, what did you find? Um, I found this toy. I don't know what it is. Wow, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Heroes Gujitsu Galaxy Blast. Huh. That would be an interesting one to look up, right? Or is it for you? <laughs> okay. You never know. You might change your mind if you see that it's worth a good profit, right? We'll see. Do you know that orange tag is half off? We've been keeping an eye out for orange tags. Yeah. I challenge you. I bet I can find an orange tag that I want to buy before you can. Deal? So here I am back at the canisters. Just having a peek at the price. They're $2 with the original Libby stickers on them. Truth be told, Jake just looked over at the shelf and said, Mum, did you see there's two glass Christmas trees there? How can I say no? <laughs> Come on then, in the cart you go. Heart is quite empty, so there's plenty of room. We'll keep going on this shelf. What's this? It looks like a little advent calendar wall hanging. Let's see. It is a bit faded and worse for wear, unfortunately, and it doesn't have... Uh, the little markers that go into the pockets. We'll leave that. Some little micro lights for an outside tree there. I don't think we need any more of those. I'm personally fond of white lights at Christmas time. And these, I believe these are red
Here's a box of vintage glass ornaments from one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's a wonderful life and it's only $3.99. Let's definitely grab that. These are some pine cone stocking holders. They're made of resin and unfortunately quite chippy. So we will leave those on the shelf. This shelf looks quite picked over. Lots of ornaments, some invitations. This is a capiz shell, little uh, tree topper, more ornaments. I am trying really hard to stick to my profit goal of $20 per item. Let's see what we can find. It's a little vintage candle holders. Always check uh, these candle holders with vintage um, greenery around them because you never know the maker. It might be something of value. It is a vintage lacy cushion. It is a bit manky, very stained. So um, I don't know that it's washable. So we will leave that. This looks like a boxed ornament. It's Bradford Exchange. And unfortunately, the market is quite flooded with the collector uh, series that came from Bradford Exchange and other companies like that. Some stacks of Christmas cards. These are often fun to look through. You will sometimes find some really, really old uh, and fun cards. These look to be probably from the 2000s, though not that old. Some placemats there. The Winnie the Pooh stocking. That's very, very worn. Felt is... Uh, very thin on that. It's a hanging light set. It's a soapstone sculpture. Not very exciting. Some plaques and signs. This is a mold piece. Christ is Christmas. That's quite fun. Just very, very heavy. I don't know that I would want to ship that. So at this late stage in uh, the Christmas celebrations, I'm going to leave that one on the shelf. Here are some Star Trek plates. $10 a piece on those. Some little nativity figures there. It's a teeny tiny mini nativity set. Hmm. I'm tempted by that, but again, uh, trying to stick to my $20 profit goal. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We've got some wreaths and more Christmas bits on this end cap here. There are some candy ornaments in this baggie. Jake is leading the way down the aisle here into the candle section. Let's have a look on the off chance there might be some fire and light or even some glassy baby here. You just never know what you're going to find. All sorts of candle holders, 
glass. What's that? Just a taper holder, unmarked. Wood Wick is a great brand. They have really nice candles. They actually make the sound of wood crackling when you light them. Some Easter signs at the bottom. It's a silver plated canister. It's a bit worse for wear there. More of those Christmas tree plates. And some souvenir plates underneath. I always like to unstack plates just in case something amazing is hiding at the bottom. Say reproduction mercury glass candlestick. This looks like a Amy Lacombe piece. I think it's just a project piece made in her style. This is a decorative little jar and a massive, is that a Marlin? It's $5, but unfortunately it has a bit of damage to the fin there. So we will leave that. It's a candle. Oh, this is great. It is a ceramic hashtag. Perfect for the social media guru. Let's pop that in the cart. Hashtags are really, really trendy at the moment. That's great. Let's keep going. It's a little hobby, hob, holly, hobby piece that's been there quite some time. Dishes. A little trinket box from Mexico. Again, trying to stick to my $20 profit goal. Or pieces that I know will sell very, very quickly for me. It's a birdhouse made out of a gourd. Oh, it looks like a flamingo. That's lovely. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's a little uh, pottery piece painted with irises. I love the blue. I love the shape of it. Let's get that. Angels and dogs. That's a bank. That duck has been here a while as well. Oh, I have one of these at my booth and it's a single. Oh, it's $8, but even so, it's a bookend and uh, it needs to be paired with the single one I have at my booth. I really hope they're the same size. I think they are. So let's grab this and keep our fingers crossed that they match. Let's keep going in the figurines and knickknacks. We've got some farm animals stacked up here. Norman Rockwell figurines. Unfortunately, they just don't sell very well. And there are literally thousands listed on eBay. They are $6 here, which is a great price if you are a collector. Metal goblet, it's quite interesting. Would be perfect for Renaissance Fair. This is a little wax warmer. R 
replica of some coral. All sorts of smalls here, from vases to glasses. Dolls. What is this? This looks like Lego. This is... It's Think Geek and it looks like a Lego style Christmas wreath. It's interesting. I've never seen this brand before. So I think I'm going to pop it in the cart and look it up on eBay just to learn something new and see what the value is. Here is, I believe this is Pope John Paul for $2.99. This would be an interesting piece to look up as well. This poor chap has lost his head. Could probably be glued though. It is a little odd. Hopefully that is a television set and not a microwave. Very strange. I am being really, really good about my $20 profit goal. It's another little Mexican trinket there. Giraffes, some pumpkins. As you can see, I'm being very, very thorough, making sure I see everything. He has a repair, unfortunately. Often when the shelves are full of different items like this, it can be quite overwhelming. This is lovely. It's a little plaque with a uh, vases of flowers on it and the vases are made to look like they're glass let's grab that see some little lidded containers this is a souvenir piece basket there more dishes Tiles. Mark Maguire. He is in rough shape there. This poor fellow has lost his tail. Oh, look at this. This is a signed pottery piece. It's a vase. I love the colors. It goes from a chestnut brown all the way up to blue at the top. It's in lovely condition. Let's grab that.
here we are in the wood plaques frames and shelves baskets and holders that's a fun little cork display there magazine rack at the bottom let's see if anything jumps out of a test that's an odd sarcophagus little box I wonder what that was designed for seems to be resin or plastic as always lots and lots of signs and wall hangings Shelves are quite full. This bear has been here quite some time. Letters. As you can see, I don't always find something in every aisle, but it definitely pays to be thorough. Let's pop around the corner here into the metal aisle. They usually have it separated into four different sections. The gold tone metals, silver tone metals, black, and different colors. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of gold tone here today, and they have it mixed in with some signs and uh, different colored pieces. These are metal. Uh, sconces if they were brass I would definitely pick them up but these are a lighter weight metal very modern and uh, so I am going to leave them I actually have a pair of vintage ones in my inventory and uh, I should take them down to my booth in Danny the niche ladies store good stuff here in Las Vegas and uh, then give you a video tour so you can see everything that I have on display down there. Here's a couple of wall art pieces. Unfortunately, the top of this one is broken. This is the silver metal section. Racks and platters. Display pieces. Candle holders and into the black wire and metal. It's a decorative fish and a little chick cork holder. Lots of sconces. Here's a little tea light holder, the shelves, some big wall art with candle holders there here we are in the vases planters and florals this is lovely not very high value but 
really sweet home sweet home it says 99 cents i think we'll grab that here is an ftd hand painted vase i love the flowers on it unfortunately it has a chip on the top and for that reason i am going to leave it lots of silk flowers and arrangements I'm keeping an eye out for vases and planters underneath arrangements. I always check those uh, just on the off chance that they are something good. That is signed. It's just not very good quality. Mass produced, I believe. This is an Avon piece. I believe it is a cologne bottle and a um, candlestick combined. Sadly, still, Avon does not uh, fetch very much profit in the resale market. Let's keep going here some little planters this <laughs> goblet is still here with its crack all sorts of vases this one is made entirely of paper little elephant uh, lucky bamboo not in great condition so I'm going to make the decision to leave that over here we have a little West Elm roly-poly bud vase original price $12.99 it is orange tag but still I just don't think I can get $20 profit on that I wish there was another similar one let me scan the shelves just to see then it would definitely be worth it all sorts of shapes sizes and colors and lots and lots of pink today iridescent Vase is pretty. Here's a piece of transferware. Unfortunately, it has a massive chip on the bottom. It's a little jug there. Nothing vintage is jumping out at me. Lots and lots of clear floral pieces as usual, usual. I'm going to take you down this aisle for a peek at the plates and bowls, cups and saucers to see what we can find. Lots and lots of stacks as usual. This is a pretty little green saucer under here. Let's look at this. Oh, it's Royal Tudor Ware. That's interesting. I'm used to Royal Tudor Ware being highly decorative with uh, English scenes on them. I'm going to look out for the cup that goes with that vibrant green uh, almost like a robin's egg blue greeny blue because that is very interesting i love to pick up things that i'm not familiar with um, but by are by a well-known maker sometimes you get lucky and uh, it's a rare piece This also is a pretty plate. 
lusterware, peach lusterware, lemon plates. As you know, I'm not a huge fan of shipping plates. So in order for me to pick something up in this aisle, that's not for food juice. It's got to be something really, really special. So much to see. Those are ceramic, not marble. Little Cutty Sark Kramer. Just browsing through to see what we can find. That is another one of those collector plates in the box. Unfortunately, if they sell at all, they only sell for about 12 to $15. Unfortunately, no sign of that Royal Tudorware cup. Maybe that's why the source is here at Goodwill. These are pretty, but sadly, very, very cracked. I don't know if you can see, but uh, all those have major cracks in them. We are here in the kitcheny bits and I have spotted a Johan Haviland covered sugar bowl. They are asking $8 on this, but unfortunately without the matching creamer, it's just not going to sell on eBay. But let's bear that in mind and keep an eye out on the shelves here for that creamer. Lots and lots of clear glass canisters and bowls, Sunday glasses, platters, that is a fun piece, West Bend missing the lid, surprisingly they don't go for much anymore, uh, they used to be quite popular. Some punch bowls over here. I, that one fooled me. I thought for sure that was a vintage platter. Modern reproduction in vintage style, which incidentally is very, very popular at the moment. Very trendy uh, is vintage style. This is a little Hershey Kiss trinket box. Again, surprisingly, they don't sell for enough profit to make it worth picking up. All sorts of glass pieces. canisters wouldn't it be lovely if we could find that a royal Tudorware cup and the Haviland um, creamer that has some damage to the top potato. <laughs> I think that originally had a lid, possibly a mold piece. Well, I'm not seeing anything that I can't live without down here. We're almost at the end of the kitcheny bits. 
Oh, that picture has a chicken on top, but unfortunately it's very, very damaged. It's Avon cookie jar house there. Indiana glass, a little tortoise candle holder. Sadly, these don't sell at all on eBay. It's making sure I check every inch of the shelves. Some sets up top there. This is interesting. It looks like a paperweight. C. Nibro Glassboro. Swedish glass by designed by Paul Eiling. It is four dollars. Orange tag sale, making it two dollars. Let's grab that. And here is what looks like some Reuven glass. It gets this effect by um, the artist painting the glass and then firing it at a high temperature, causing the paint to melt and drip down. So a little shell trinket here. Let's see what else there is. We are here in the mugs, having a look to see what we can find. Oh, this is pretty. It doesn't feel as nice as it looks, however. So we will leave that very lightweight, easily chippable, I'm afraid. This is a nice mug. Your gloomy state, unfortunately, only sells for about eight to ten dollars so sorry Eeyore we are going to leave you there on the shelf what else can we find here here is a Starbucks mug these used to be very very popular and not so much anymore this is a you are here Seattle uh, we are going to leave that one. Scanning the rest of the shelves. Here is a Tigger. Unfortunately, that is quite faded from the dishwasher. And still, I believe, only about an $8 to $12 mug. Oh, look at this. This is a Ray Dunn Magenta um, mug. $3, believe. I really like that. Let's grab that one. See if there might be a matching one. I believe these also came in red. We are moving into the glassware. Wine glasses, beer glasses, tumblers, martini, champagne, margarita, everything you can possibly think of right here on these shelves here's a vintage one i think this might be libby little corn stalks unfortunately there is only one of those I just wanted to show you the whole store here. This is one of our biggest stores here in Las Vegas. Let's have a wander through the furniture. What's this? This is a sculpture. Unfortunately, the end of the pen is missing. Little shelving units, side tables here. big futon I think it is Vegas Knights futon that's quite mid-century a 
Not much in the way of large toys, as expected, with Christmas just around the corner here. Making my way towards the lamps. It's a television cabinet. I thought that was stone, but it's actually a faux wood top. Let's see if there's anything interesting here in the small electronics and the lamps. There's some pendant shades there. Seeing on the end here a couple of Halloween y lights. Now, some of these can be really, really collectible, but it's usually the bigger ones. These two, unfortunately, are probably only worth about $10 to $15 a piece. This one holds a votive candle, and this little one. Um, is a light up. They're five dollars a piece. I think we'll leave those. Our last stop today is the small frames here. Just having a look to see if there's anything vintage, any stitchery or needlepoint cross stitches that sell really, really well for me. Oops. Some leaf. What else have we got here? Some little cards. Shelves are quite full today. Oh, look at this. This is a little cross stitch. Looks like a Siberian Husky or a wolf. That's lovely. Only $3. Let's pop that into the cart. Where there is one, there are often more. So let's definitely look carefully through. What's this one? There's another one there. This one is a little posy of flowers. Unfortunately, that is really pulled out of shape. I'm going to leave that one, but this one is fun. $3 again. Stitching forever, housework, whenever. Nicely framed. That's really fun. We'll grab that one. Just going to have another little flip through the rest of these pieces here. I thought that was uh, another needlework piece for a moment but it is just a print not seeing any more stitchery Soon as I finished filming here, I will go back and tidy up all the frames I've pulled forward. Let's pop these into the card. <laughs> Just double check here. It's 
quite a nice still life of an avocado. Though I'm not sure the subject matter is ever so desirable. Some foil, vintage foil uh, pieces here. Let's have a peek at these. Often these are in rough shape. They don't get covered in glass and they as these are get scratched and scraped and ruffled very very easily which is really a shame they are all in rough condition unfortunately Here on my counter is everything that Jake and I found at Goodwill. First, we have the two little Reuven saucers or trinket dishes. I paid $1.99 for these. Hey, Ziggy. And I am going to ask $20 for the pair. I absolutely love the irises on this pottery piece. It is signed. Let me peel off the sticker. I can show you there. It says GRP, I believe. And then a little squiggly there. Absolutely lovely piece. Paid $2 for it. And I am going to ask $18. I absolutely love this piece too. It's a little uh, pitcher or jug and the font of the home sweet home that's transfer word on there uh, looks like a needlepoint font. It has a made in Taiwan sticker. It's definitely vintage. I paid $2 for it and I am going to ask $15. This was my find of the day, a gorgeous set of glass Christmas tree ball ornaments from the movie It's a Wonderful Life. I believe uh, it was released in 1947 and uh, the ornaments show Jimmy Stewart and Donna Reed in three different or two different scenes from the movie. Just lovely. There's the back. I paid four dollars for these. There is a set on eBay for fifty-five dollars. I am going to ask forty-five dollars. Here at the back here, we have another pottery piece, absolutely gorgeous. It's sort of um, an iridescent finish. So you can especially see it at the blue at the top there. Lovely ribbed swirl design. It's quite weighty. There is the bottom. It's got little felt pads on it. I paid $5 for it. I am going to ask $28. It is quite, quite heavy, so I think I might put this down at my booth. As you see at the back here, I found two cross stitches. The first is the Stitching Forever Housework Whenever. The second is this lovely Siberian Husky, or it could be a wolf. I paid, I believe, four, three or four dollars a piece for these. I am going to ask twenty dollars a piece. So my lovely son Jake was responsible for talking me into these super vintage Libby glass candy jars. I ended up paying just $2 a piece for these. Matching in lovely condition. 
really super. I shall ask $20 a piece on those. I love these irregular shape Ray Dunn mugs, especially the ones that are in different colors. This Believe mug is lovely pine tree green. It's in super condition. I paid $3 for it and I shall ask $20. At the front here is a lovely wall plaque by Sue Bloom. I don't know if you can catch it through the lens, but the vessels of these jugs are made of, I believe it's resin, and they look just like glass. Absolutely gorgeous piece. And the little frill of the napkin or doily on the shelf they're on just adds to the whimsy. I paid $5 for this piece and I am going to ask $25. I paid up for this Toscany Angel here. She is solid glass. She is the large size and I do have the smaller one in my inventory, which is most of the reason I paid up for her. Things that sell much better in pairs. So I paid $12.99 for this girl. And uh, along with the smaller one, I shall probably ask between $45 and $50 for the two. Back here, we have our little fellow in the sombrero bookend. And I'm almost positive I have the exact uh, match to this one down at my booth uh, at The Good Stuff here in Las Vegas, 1401 North Decatur. So next time I go, I'm going to take this with me and together we will see if they match. This, I figured out, is actually a paperweight. Uh, it depicts the star sign Aquarius. It's a merman. Designed by Paul Eiling, Eisling. Uh, it's a Swedish piece. Lovely, lovely. Really like this one. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $20. At the front here, another of my favorite finds, a pack of, it says 12, cocktail napkins. Now, I believe there's three different designs in here. I did a bit of research. There's a um, squirrel. There's this duck. And I believe there is a pheasant. Three of each design. I paid $3 for them. And I am going to ask $28. At the back here is our hashtag sign. This is made of ceramic. I paid $5 for it and I am going to ask $28. I actually just received this in the mail. I bought this on Whatnot from Haley and Josh at Harry Tornado. <laughs> it is a art glass um, chicken or rooster. I believe it's a rooster because he's got this uh, lovely waddle here. Art glass rooster. He is red and clear. Quite vintage. It's absolutely lovely. I enjoy supporting my friends on whatnot. And I am going to ask $30 on this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our thrifting at Goodwill. Jake and I had a wonderful time. Please stay tuned. I've got a couple of fun clips. The first is a surprise preview of uh, some friends who came into town um, and I thrifted with one of them who you may know quite well. Stay tuned for that. And the second is a reveal of a big secret I've been keeping. I'll see you next time. Bye.
Here we are, Paradise Valley Antique Mall. <gasps> George! George! The antique nomad, everybody. Oh goodness! That's a long coat. Oh, you can. Oh, yes, you can one. see the long on the the arms. Beautiful. Look at those sausages. Yes. What do you see? 